Hi, this is Karen, and I'm here to give you some tips on how you can figure out what keywords you want to use when you're building your query. So I've got my account here. I am going to go to Bill Sheets and start a new query. And I've been hearing about payday loans lately, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll leave it against all states. And um, for the search, let's just try payday loan. So this is going to create my rough draft. So I'm just getting started. I don't know too much about payday loans. Um, so I've got my first cut at it. And I'm looking at these and university governing boards. Not quite sure how that applies, but some of these look pretty good. So of course you know that I could switch this from every bill that has payday and loan in it to bills that have just those words near each other. So now instead of 144 bills, I've got 80 bills. All right, so that made it a little more specific. Um, and so let's see, yeah, these look slightly more germane to my topic. I can also say payday loan in quotes, which will give me only bills with that exact phrase in it. So not just payday and loan near each other in the same section, but payday loan, that exact phrase, uh, which in this case may well be what I'm looking for. So that takes me to 76. So pretty much if it's got payday and loan near each other, it's saying payday loan. Um, all right, so then the other thing I can do is put an asterisk on the end in case they say payday loan or loans or loaning or loaner. Um, probably not that, but you get the idea. So that, uh, that does happen sometimes. So now we've got 127 bills. All right, so that's a good start. Um, but now am I looking at the actual bills and I see we've got mentions of check cashing. Um, so that might be something I want to add. So now instead of saying contains all, I'm going to move this down, copy and paste it down, and I'm going to put check cashing in here and say, all right, so if you mention payday loan or check cashing, and I got that just from the names of bills that seem to apply. And that widened my net a little bit and gave me a few more bills. Um, all right. So then going through here, I also see this deferred deposits, and that's maybe not a phrase I'm familiar with. So I'm going to open up the bill. I clicked on the bill number. Now if I go to the bill text and say highlight search terms, it'll jump me down. Um, all right. And so we've got uh, deferred deposit of checks, commonly known as payday lending, uh, provides short-term loans. Okay. So... Payday lending and deferred deposit of checks are both things I want to add to my, my search. So I'm going to say deferred deposit. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to my query. And then I'm going to take payday lending. And copy that and add that to my query. All right, so now I'm building this up. And I should be getting a pretty good cross-section here of bills with any one of these phrases. Um, some of you a little more technical and some more uh, what no normal people would say, if you will. All right. So now as I go through here, um, I have another option. Uh, I can look at keywords. So as you just saw, looking at this Hawaii bill, um, I can read every single bill and see what it says. And probably I eventually am going to do that. But... Uh, I can just put those keywords right into this grid to give myself an, a leg up on that analysis. So I'm going to go to Manage Bill Templates, and that's where I can add a keyword column. Um, all right, so here's a list of all of the columns that we can pick from, and here's the keyword list I want. Um, here's the list of all of the templates I have already created, and so I just have the default one that I get automatically, but I can either create a new template, which I use for research, where I put all of these extra things, um, or I could just edit the standard one. So for right now, I'm going to edit the standard one. Um, and I'm going to say, you know, I don't need these action counts and version counts, but I am going to scroll down here and add the keyword list. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there and save. All right. So I'm going to click on the logo to go back home. And if I go into my payday loans, um, now I've got this keyword column that I can look at. Uh, however, that's not that convenient, having it all the way over there and half cut off. So I'm going to go back to my template, edit it again, 
And I'm going to pick up keywords and say, actually, I want them right after the name. And please make it twice as wide. Um, and by the way, maybe my bill numbers aren't actually that wide. So then I'll save that. The logo to go back home. And that will give me something a little bit more convenient. There we go. Um, so now I've got the keywords here in the beginning so I can see the whole thing. And so these are not words that BillJack50 has added by reading the bills and deciding what they're about. It's an algorithm. Um, so they won't be perfect, but they'll be pretty good. Um, and so you'll see it mentions like section, fine, that's not helpful. Um, but it also says deferred presentment transactions. So I may want to read this bill and see what deferred presentment is and if that's something I want to add. Um, I can also see uh, check cashing services. Well, that seems pretty relevant. Um, so I'm going to go ahead into this check cashing services bill. And I already have check cashing in my query, but I look in here and I see that section 563 of Flor Florida statutes is amended to read. Um, and then it's exempting from licensure um, check cashing. So what I'm going to do is look through Google and see what this even is. All right. Um, so section 563.04. So I want to look through these links until I see the one that is going really to the government. So this is going to state.fl.us. So this is like my official link, which should take me into the code. So this is the actual law about what's exempt from licensure right now. So this is specifically about money services and uh, small checks and cashing payment. Okay, so this is very much something I'm interested in. So now I can add 563.04 or um, possibly the whole 563.04 Florida statutes into my query. So I'm going to copy that and actually say this specific section is something I want. Now, depending on how seriously I'm taking this topic, I could create just a Florida version and add all the sections that are relevant to my topic and add them by number and just put the 56304 um, to make sure that I'm going to get every single bill that mentions changing this section of law. If you do that, you're going to want to put the 56304 in quotes. Um, because the dot might be seen as punctuation. So if you have a dot or a dash, go ahead and put the number in quotes. That'll make sure our system keeps it together and understands what it is. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and save this. All right. And now um, it looks like it added another bill. So if I use my filter, I'm going to say take me to just these Florida ones. Um, so now I have a new, a new bill called licensure of check cashers that I might want to check. Um, all right. So there are some tips for you on how you might start exploring to figure out keywords. You can look at the names of the bills. You could read the bills and, and look for more words you want to add in. You can add the keyword column and look for words that you want to add, or maybe words that you want to remove. Um, if you're overlapping something that you don't care about. Um, and you can also add the actual sections of law, add the actual numbers in there, um, and that should help you as well. So hopefully some of these tips are helpful for you as you get started trying to explore uh, and find out what legislation there is about your topic. Good luck.